car and you'll be charged. We're getting rid of personnel of all kinds. And it's not just, ro it's not just AI, it's robotics and automation. And, you know, it's, it's our, our innovation with technology always runs ahead of our stewardship. So we think later about how many people are being left jobless. There's a book called, uh, a good book called, by a guy named Ford called uh, The Light at the End of the Tunnel. And it's about the giant, er, er, the giant permanent job loss that we're going to go through because of automation and robotics. What we need is a policy. We, don't need, we, we, we go forward and we react after, after you know, huge job loss. But what we need is to be proactive about some of these, some of these issues. Sure. History, and it seems like people have different perspectives, and uh, this idea that intelligence is basically our ability to calculate things, uh, you know, that, that seems to be a particular way of defining intelligence. And I'm wondering, in your research and in the conversations with many other people who work in this, sure. field, have they taken the task to consider the possibility of the type of intelligence? Yeah. There's a great article, if anybody wants to look up, written by Shane Legg. L-E-G-G, -G, and he's one of the founders of, of uh, DeepMind, that company that was just sold for 400 million. And he wrote, it was something like, the paper is called 100 Definitions of Intelligence, or a, a, a collection of definitions of intelligence. The one that I've settled on is the one that was given to me by, again and again I ran into it, and that was the one that I had on the screen early on, and that is, intelligence is the ability to achieve goals in a variety of environments, novel environments, and to learn. And that, as I said, there's a lot packed into that. Uh, but most of the uh, definitions of intelligence I know about converge around the ideas of mobility, uh, goal achievement, being able to do things. How do, you, how do you display intelligence? How do you cultivate intelligence? How do you teach intelligence or learn intelligence? And you do it by trial and error and, and doing, some, doing some projects in some environment. And then your intelligence should be mobile so you can go to a new environment and, and, and adapt. And then it's, then it's quality intelligence. But there are a lot of definitions. There, but those, that's sort of where they all converge. Yes, sir. You know, it's all kind of interesting to me because um, you know, physics has the same problem, right? Because you, know, you have these, these massive people working on string theory and multiple dimensions. Yeah. And the, 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 the thought of operating a military in a dimension well beyond our four. Right, could yeah. be devastating to another country. It takes you back to the, the, the tug of war of good and evil in World War II, right? I mean, it was really by the luck of Einstein coming to America with his equation E equal MC squared and then, you know, getting a letter to the president.